Well hello there, welcome to Rank in the Obscure, episode 1. My name's Ian. Uh, what are we doing this all for? Well, I've been watching a lot of ranking videos during uh, the lockdown. And there have been bands that I've tried to look that no one's done. So I've decided, well I'll do them myself. Um, but today I'm actually starting off with one of my favourite bands, um, Status Quo. There's a couple of ranking videos of Status Quo. As always, it's my personal choice, so don't uh, give me a hard time if your favourite is not my favourite. So, where do we start? Well, for start, Status Quo have released 33 studio albums which include the two acoustic albums which are included in my ranking today. So let's start with my least favourite, number 33. Uh, year 2000 release, 24th album by the band and it was famous in the last century. This is just a collection of other people's songs. It's not what I call my favourite album. Um, I do like a few tracks on there. Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look here. Right. Let's go down the list. Uh, I do like Sweet Home Chicago. Uh, that's a pretty good version. Uh, the Rockin' Me by Steve Miller. That's pretty good. Apart from that, it's... Uh, yeah. Not my favourite status quo album, obviously. Um... But yeah, it's, it's okay for a listen now and again, but it's not an album I go back to. So let's move on. Number 32 is the 1999 release, uh, the 21st album by the band, Thirsty Work. Um, as for most of these albums, I don't dislike any of them, but when you're ranking, there's a reason why this is at the bottom. There are too many fillers on this. There is only what I consider about three reasonably good songs um, three or four I think uh, let's have a look I didn't mean it that's a very I like that one uh, soft in the heads okay and rude awakening time and the rest is just filler no nothing um, sticks out in my mind has got some of the worst status quo songs on this album unfortunately uh, one of them being Sherry Don't Fail Me Now, followed by Chow Chow. Um, they did really do a real release with um, a Dulux version. Um, there are some pretty good songs on the second disc that should have actually been on the album. But for some reason they weren't. So that's all I can say about Thirsty Work. Let's move on. Coming in at number 31 uh, is the 2003-26th album, Riffs. Again, another cover and some remixes of their own songs. Not too bad, this album. There's some better songs on this than uh, Famous in the Last Century. Um, the version of I Fought the Law is pretty good on here. Uh, Don't Bring Me Down, that's pretty good. And the, and the uh, remake of Junior's Wailing with Rick Carfitt sound it, singing sounds pretty good as well. Overall, um... I do listen to it now and again, but again, it's a pr pretty, pretty not the sort of thing I want to listen to. Okay, let's move on. Number 30, uh, it's the 1989 release, 19th album, Perfect Remedy. This is when the sort of quiet started going a little bit, uh, I don't know what, how to describe it. There are some one or two little gems on here. Um, little Dreamer, pretty good track. Uh, Perfect Remedy, the title track's pretty good. But I do like the power of rock and roll, and it does sound really good live. Um, again, I don't listen to this very often. It's just just a difficult time for the band to readjust in, etc. But... Yeah, it's a good listen when you want something different. Okay, coming in at number 29 is the 1988 album, 18th release, Ain't Complaining. Oh, 
again it's, it's there's not a lot of good stuff on this it's just mediocre um, one for the money's not too bad um, I actually like cream of the crop uh, the live version of it is a much better I saw them a couple of times on this tour so yeah it, it's, it's not a, again it, it's I don't hate it it's just not one of my favorites and it doesn't help when it's got burning bridges on which is a track that I particularly don't like okay let's move on next album number 28 in the list is the 1996 and the 22nd release don't stop of all the uh, compilation recovers and etc this one is the best of the three um, it's got some really good tracks on this one um, I do like fun 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 with the beach boys that's really good um, I can hear the grass grow another good track um, the safety dance the old um, men without hats number pretty good uh, my favorite track though is all around my hat with, uh, with Maddie Pryor um, saw them on this tour and she came out and sang the song with the guys and it was pretty good she's man as a box of frogs but she fitted in with the uh, the atmosphere of the quote so that was a really good album in when it comes to them three cover albums okay number 27 is the 1999 release 23rd album under the influence this was the, the last album to feature Jeff Rich on drums who joined them back in 86 um, not a bad album um, let's get a bit more comfortable um, Highlights on this album are 20 Wild Horses, that is a really good track. Um, I like uh, Shine On, one of Rick's sh tracks. Um, Keep Them Coming's okay. On the whole, I'm happy with that one. It's, it's, it's as I said, it's, I don't dislike it. But it's not one of my favourites. But there are some good tracks on there that are good to listen to. Right, coming in at number 26. From 1986, uh, the 17th album released by the band, In the Army Now. Obviously this is the first album after the sort of split. Uh, so it's the first appearance of Rhino, Edwards and Jeff Rich. As a comeback album, it's got some good tracks on it uh, rolling home I do like that uh, red sky like that one as well it's got in the army now one of course but unfortunately not one of my favorite tracks uh, I've listened to it now and again again it's just one of them albums that I'm not particular liking um, better move on then um, number 25 it's the 2013 release, uh, the 30th album, and it's for the film they did, Bulla Quo. Uh, the tracks on here are pretty good. Uh, it was the last appearance of Matt Letley on drums as well. Um, let's have a look at the tracks. Uh, pretty good. Um, I do like Go, Go, Go. That's a really good number. Never Leave a Friend Behind. Another good rocker. Um... And then it's got some live stuff on it as well. I know Quo Live's good, um, regardless of who's playing in the band. You can always guarantee a good uh, concert when you go to see Status Quo. Okay then, moving swiftly on. Uh, number 24. Uh, we've got the debut album, 1968. Picturesque Matchstick Messages. You can't say that after a few sherbets. Um... Obviously, this has got the original lineup that the status quo uh, features "Ice in the Sun," like that track. Uh, obviously, pictures of Matchstick Men's on there for another debut album. Being the psychedelic era, there's some really good um, songs, well produced, um, some good guitar work from Francis and Rick. So, the, although it's not bad it's still down at 24 
Number 23 is the second album, came out in 1969, Spare Parts. This album sort of started to see what was coming. There's a couple on here that sh shows what Quo were going to be go the direction they were going in, sorry. Um, highlights on here are Little Miss Nothing uh, and Nothing at All. Okay, coming in at number 22. Uh, the 32nd album, 2016's Acoustic 2, that's a fact. Okay, why am I putting in an album that's basically like a greatest hits? This was sadly Rick's last studio appearance with the band. Um, I actually like these acoustic albums. They're a little bit different and it's nice to have something different, but it's just that being Rick's last appearance... It's quite a an album. Um, yeah. So number 21 is the first one. Strip Bear came out in 2014. 31st album. And it's the first time that uh, Leo Leon Cave sorry, uh, plays drums. Again, it's a nice album. It's got just the hits and etc. Um, enjoy listening to it. Um, what we can say about that. Okay, let's move on. Number 20 is their 27th um, release. 2005's The Party Ain't Over Yet. This album is pretty good. It's... We're now getting into the top 20. So it, it, I do like this album. Um, it was starting to get back to old... What I call old quo. Uh, some highlights on here though are the Bella Vista Man, love that track. Um, also like um, Cupid Stupid, um, it r r rings back to the 70s. Um, yeah, on, on the whole, this good that listenable album, like going back to this one. Uh, didn't see them on this tour. Um, but I do enjoy listening to it now and again. Okay, coming in at number 19. It's the 1991 album, 20th album, Rock Tear Drop. This album's pretty good. Um, there's some really good tracks on here. Uh, like the opening track, Like a Zombie. Um, all you we really want to do is Not Too Bad, Faking the Blues, uh, One Man Band, I Love. Don't like the um, re-recorded of Can't Give You More. Not particularly one of my favourite tracks anyway. Um, what else have we got in here? Bring It On Home is pretty good. The old Sam Cooke number. No Problems is another good song. Um, the last track on the air, uh, 4,500 times re-recorded. Don't know why they needed to do that. But yeah, but they did. Anyway, let's move on. Number 18, uh, the 2000, 2007 sorry, um, release, 28th album, In Search of the Fourth Chord. This was an album that was starting to uh, get Quo back on track. Um, there are some really, really good tracks on here. Um, I do like the beginning of the end. Really good rocker. Uh, like Figure of Eight, that's another good little quirky song. Uh, the other song I like on here is a song called Bad News. It was written by Rhino and first time that Rhino actually did some singing. Really good track. And it also features his son Freddie on this track. Um, so on the whole, really good album. Um, I was really impressed when it came out and I do play that one quite a lot. Okay, number 17 is Back to Back, came out 1983, 16th, and this one was the last album to feature Alan Lancaster and Pete Kircher. Um, you can tell sort of that this is like the final bash, the songs are not particularly good on here. Uh, it's got Margarita of Time on it, which again, I agree with Mr. Lancaster. Not a really a quo track. Uh, but I do like um, Can't Be Done. I do like That's a Good Rocker. Like Old Rag Blues. Um, I prefer the version with Alan Lancaster singing on. 
um, which is on the uh, extended Dulux version, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's okay. Don't go back to it very not long, often. So let's have a look at the next one. Number 16. It's the 15th album. Came out in 1982, and of course, it is 1982. Uh, this is the first appearance of Pete Kircher on the drums and it's actually the first official album that Andy Bowen is a member of Status Quo. Although he's been with Status Quo since the 70s, touring with them, this is the first album that he's actually a member of the band. Uh, some pretty good tracks on here. Um, Young Pretender, really good track. Um, I Love Rock and Roll is another good track on this album. Uh, Resurrection. And I don't mind Dear John either. It's not a bad little track. Okay, there's not much more to say about that one. It was different because the uh, new drummer, new direction. So um, we get head now into number 15. On my list, it's the 2002 album, the 25th, Heavy Traffic. Uh, this is the first appearance of Matt Letley on the drums. This is a really good album. Um, it was quite going back to form. All Stand Up uh, is a good track. The Oriental, quite quirky. Good Live. And then you get the creeping upon you, Rick Parfit number, really rocking and raunchy, proper as we call a proper Rick track. Uh, Solid Gold's another good track on here, and the Rhythm of Life, oh, I like that one as well. Really, really good album. Okay, this is where we start getting controversial. Coming in at number fourteen, it's the 1977 tenth album, rocking all over the world. Yes, I know it's very low in my list. Uh, it was the first time that Andy Bowne was a regular contributor to the band. Thing is with this album, I think it's badly produced. There are some really good songs on here, but it's just the production too much, it's too clean, as I say. But um, I brought the uh, Deluxe remix in 2015 and John Eden remixed the album and when I listen to this album now I tend to listen to that remix because it's got more guitar the guitars are more prominent the drums and the bass but the songs on there that I really do like are um, You Don't Own Me a Lancaster number Rockers Rolling of course a really good track Dirty Water I love that song nice sing-along song and my favorite track on here is hold you back I haven't mentioned rocking all over the world I must be one of the only status quo fans that hates that song I just don't like it sorry guys but I just don't like it sorry but on the whole the album is a pretty good album when, the, when you listen to the remix. So if you haven't listened to the remix, I think you should go and check it out because you'll realize that it's a much better album. Okay, number 13. It's the 1978 album, 11th release, If You Can't Stand The Heat. So again, a, the production on here is the same as uh, Rocking All Over The World, bit of brass, don't know what Pip Williams was thinking, but there you go. Uh, but it has got some good tracks on the album. Uh, I do love Again and Again. Uh, really good rocker. Um, Long Legged Linda is another highlight on this album. Um, I like Stones. Uh, that's a good track. And Like a Good Girl. But if the, I think this is another album that really needs remixing, taking out the brass. And you'll probably find that it's a solid album. Okay, number 12 on the list. Third album that they produced. Um, 1970s Mark Ellie's Greasy Spoon. This is the first time we really got uh, a taste of Quo and what was to come. It was the last appearance of Roy Lynn's on the keyboards. 
Uh, this album is solid, top to bottom. Uh, spinning Wheel Blues, Daughter, everything is a bit of a filler to me. Shy Fly, um, April, Spring, Summer and Wednesdays, love that song. Uh, Junior's Wailing, the old opener in the day, great little track. Lucky Lady, and then we get the last three, four songs on the album. Need Your Love, Lazy Poker View, Blues, and Is It Really Me, Gotta Get Home, Go, Go Home, sorry. It's a great ending of an album, really showed us what Quo we're going to do. Love the album, like listening to that one. Okay, number 11. Uh, the, this is the most recent album, 33rd, 33rd sorry, uh, 2009's Backbone. Uh, first appearance of Richie Malone on guitars. On the whole, it's a really good album, um, just outside the top 10. It's an album that I do play a lot. Um, there's some really good tracks on here. Um, Cut, Me the, Cut Me Some Slack is a proper status quo song. I uh, love Liberty Lane, that's a really good track as well. Um, Backbone, title track, another good track. And Get It Out of My Head, where Richie Malone does the singing, another good track, really like it. Also on this album, Leon Cave has got a writing contribution, so the new lineup of the band are all contributing to this, and um, I'm hoping that we'll have another album from them. Right, we're now going into the top ten. So coming in at number ten, uh, the fourth album, 1971's Dog of Two Head. Another, another solid album. Uh, some great guitar work on this. Now, first track on the album, I never know how to pronounce it. Ultimatum, I think. If I'm wrong, sorry. Really good track, really good key keyboards and uh, vocals on this. Um, then you get the Na Na Na, there's three little versions of it. Then we've got the cla classic Something's Going On In My Head. Followed by Mean Girl, Real Rocker. It's also got Garundala on it. Love that, especially when they did it live a few years ago back. Uh, when they all played each other's guitars. Really fun. Um, Favourite track on here is obviously Railroad. Love that album. Something, Someone's Learning. Another great track. And then you get the full version. Na, 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 na. I do like that al this album. Um, listen to it quite a lot. Again, um, right, number nine. Uh, this is the 2011th, 2011, sorry, 29th album, Quid Quo Pro. This album, of all the um, newer albums, uh, this is the best. It's Quo returning to their, um, back to their roots, I'd say. It's got some really good tracks on it. Uh, two Way Traffic. Rock and Rolling You, Dust to Gold, Let's Rock, love that track. Uh, can't see for looking, better than that. Moving on, Leave a Little Light On is a nice little song. Any way you like it. Frozen Hero, really good track. Uh, reality Track, check. It's getting tongue tied here. That's a status quo song, by the way. Uh, the Winner, It's All About You, My Old Ways. And then they spoil it. The remaster, re-version of In The Army Now. But only in the UK. I think it was to do with the uh, the army and that. But still don't like the song. Okay then. Number 8. It's the 1981 album. 14th. Never Too Late. Uh, this was the last album that John Coglin appeared on. This album... To me is very special it's uh, you know when you have albums that bring back memories of that time unfortunately this time i was in hospital as a young teenager i had two cassettes that i kept playing and playing this is one of them every song on here is i just love it's never too late uh, Something about your baby I like. Uh, Take me away. Falling in, falling out. Great version of Carol. 
Chuck Berry number, Long Ago, Mountain Lady, Don't Stop Me Now, uh, Enough Is Enough, and my favourite track, Riverside. Okay, we're getting closer to the top. Number seven on my uh, list. The eighth album, 1975's On The Level. Top to bottom, classic tracks. Little Lady, most of the time, love them. I Saw The Light, Over And Done, Night Ride, Down Down. Of all their sort of singles that they released, I love Down Down. It's hard, it's heavy. It's just, I love the album version with the bass bit at the end. Great track. Um, got Broken Man, What To Do, Where Am I, and Bye Bye Johnny. Right, coming in at number six. As I mentioned, when I was in hospital, there was two albums that I played to death and loved. This is the other one. It's their 13th album. Uh, 1980s, Just Supposing. What You're Proposing, a great track. Uh, Run To Mummy. Really good track as well. Don't Drive My Car. Rick's, one of Rick's finest. Lies, nice rock and roll number, really like it. And then you get the blistering over the edge. One of Alan Lancaster's best. Love that track. Uh, we've got The Wild Ones. Another good track, Name in the Game. Coming and Going, another powerful track. Uh, I and mean, it ends up with rock and roll. Nice little number as well. Okay, number five, yeah, 1976's ninth album, Blue For You, again, one of my favourite, all these albums now are just hard to choose which way to put them, um, is there a better way, great opener, Mad About The Boy, um, it's okay, Ring Of Change, not too bad, uh, Blue For You, Nice little bluesy number and Rain, Love Rain. No, it's a single but and popular, but I do like Rain. Uh, then we get Rolling Home, That's a Fact, Easy Mind, and the brilliant mystery song. Number four, uh, 1972's fifth album to come out. Oh, I've got a creaking chair. Uh, Pile Driver. This is as raw as you get, as I, I like to say. It's like in the studio, plug the guitars in and go. Uh, it's got the classic Don't Waste My Time on here. Really good bouncy track. Oh Baby, A Year, Unspoken Words. Uh, Big Fat Mama, love that song. Used to love it when I used to see them. Great guitar riffs and licks. Uh, then we got Paper Plane, All The Reasons and Roadhouse Blues. Right, we're now heading into the top three. Now, the top three can change. These are my f top, as they are, they are my favourite Qual albums. But when I was doing this ranking, I thought, how do you split them up? And it's just looking at the tracks on the album that you think, oh, no, I'm not particularly keen on that one. Or, or it's not as good as this and that. But this is how we ended up. So, number three... 1979's album, 12th release, Whatever You Want. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's one or two tracks on here that I'm not particular on. Don't mean I don't like them, but they're, they're not strong as I think. So we got Shady Lady, great opening. Uh, obviously, Rock Whatever You Want. And then you got Who Asked You and Your Smiling Face. I'm not actually too keen on them. Don't dislike them, but they're just. Bit ordinary. Uh, living on an island. Like that track. Bit different, was it? Uh, so then we've got Come Rock With Me and Rocking On. Oh, I do love these tracks. They are probably the best tracks on this album. Uh, then we've got the quirky Runaway. High Flyer and another good track to end it all out. Break Away. Breaking Away, sorry. Right, down to the top two. Now, this was hard. They kept flipping, and in the end, I went this way. So, coming at my number two, sixth album, 1973, Hello. First album that Andy Bound plays on. 
a lot of people this is their favourite but there are a couple of tracks on here that just don't do it for me um, hence why it's not my number one Roll Over Laid Down classic, classic live love the track Claudie this is where not not particularly a, a favourite of mine Reason for Living lovely song proper b rocky song from Rick and Francis Br the brilliant Blue Eyed Lady that is a terrific song um, Caroline as much as I love Caroline it's one of them tracks if I don't hear it again I won't get upset doesn't mean I don't like it but it's again one of them tracks everybody knows next track on there Softer Rider Softer Ride that is a great track I remember when I saw them war a, bit, a long time ago back in the 90s or 2000 I don't know back in the day they hadn't probably done this track for a long time and when they played it it was terrific uh, blew me away nice to hear that track um, then we get Andy's and it's better now um, it's okay I actually prefer the acoustic version of this and then it ends out with 4500 times great track but the best version of this obviously is off the live album really good track and they go off and do their own thing okay so if you haven't guessed it uh, my number one is 1974's album seventh they released the quo album now Every track on this record blows me away. Always has. Oh, it's one of them albums that I put. I you have to put on and play it all the way through. It opens up with the great Backwater, one of my favourite openings of a Quo album. Love the riffs on that, and then he goes into the blistering and um, just take me. John Cogden's drumming on that, phenomenal. Then we have the single Break the Rules. I do like that. Uh, and then we get Drifting Away. Absolutely belts out that one does. Um, and it keeps coming, keeps coming. Uh, next track, Don't Think It Matters. Another great album track. Um, this is some of Alan Lancaster's best work, in my opinion. Uh, it's... He sings, let's have a look, one, two, three, four, four, four of the eight songs are uh, Alan Lancaster singing, absolutely brilliant. Then we get Fine, 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 nice little quirky tra track. Then Lonely Man, one of Rick's nicest little songs. And then to end up on the album, the brilliant, the brilliant Slow Train. I wish I'd have seen them play this all the way through. It's just got some great guitar work, great drumming. That is why it's my favourite album. It's just this album's just full of great heavy status quo tracks. So there we go. My first um, ranking is might be a bit raw, but obviously uh, we'll see what happens. Um, if you like, uh, let me know and uh, subscribe and. Um, We'll see what comes next. I've got some interesting ones I'm going to be doing. So I will see you all very, very shortly.